This is the ocean bottom in its natural state. This is the ocean bottom under a salmon feedlot. It's out of sight and out of mind to most people. Most people don't get to see what it's like under a fish farm. All they get to see is on the surface and it looks very nice. Leaping salmon, being tossed food, but underneath it's really is, it's a, it's a waste dump. It's a, it's a sewage type environment. For every five kilos of fish, a salmon feedlot produces one kilo of dung. Over its life cycle, a salmon feedlot can produce enough untreated waste to completely fill a Boeing 747. 1,800 metric ton of waste. That's what these sites in one year are going to produce. Yeah. And that is the equivalent, equivalent of Digby County, all going to the bathroom. That's what's being dumped down here on our bottom every year. And the sludge under a salmon feedlot doesn't just include dung, it also includes uneaten food, dead fish, and anti-fouling compounds which are designed to kill marine life. The waste footprint from a salmon feedlot can reach as far as two kilometers from the pens themselves. Aquaculture companies don't even pick up their own debris off the shoreline. And because a jam-packed net full of salmon is a perfect target for parasites and disease, Net pen operators have to treat the fish with antibiotics and dose them with poisons, all of which go into the water column. In several cases, poisons from salmon feedlots have been responsible for the deaths of thousands of lobsters. Some of those poisons are banned, but aquaculture companies have been convicted of using them anyway. That is literally criminal behavior. Are these the corporate citizens we want in Nova Scotia? See our full-length film at salmonwars.com.